and that moment is finally here. Now it's time to officially take Atlas out of the lab. Atlas, the world-famous humanoid robot from Boston Dynamics, is headed into the real world with a new design built for mass production. The fully electric humanoid, which originated as a DARPA project 13 years ago, just made its public debut at the 2026 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, where a slew of next-generation robots fought for attention as they enter a fiercely competitive year ahead. Boston Dynamics revealed the production version of its flagship humanoid as part of a presentation with its parent company, Hyundai. The South Korean automaker laid out its ambitious plans for scaling capacity to build up to 30,000 humanoids per year by 2028. It's part of its pledge to invest $26 billion in U.S. manufacturing and technology through 2028. Mobile's expanded human reach and partnering for human progress. According to Boston Dynamics, the new and improved Atlas is the first iteration meant for commercial deployments rather than research labs. It features a refined aesthetic, but noticeably bigger build compared to the first electric Atlas introduced in 2024, which replaced the original hydraulic robot that went mega viral in the 2010s. Standing 188 centimeters, or 6 foot 2, the new Atlas towers over most of today's humanoids including China's Terminator-inspired T-800 from Engine AI and Unitree's H2, shown here almost rearranging its creator's face. Atlas has a reported 56 degrees of freedom, largely rotational joints, and three-fingered end effectors with tactile sensing for handling complex objects. The design choice differs from most of the humanoids rushing to market, like Tesla's Optimus, the Figure 3, and 1X's Neo. Boston Dynamics says it's to reduce complexity and failure points while still providing the needed strength and dexterity for real-world industrial jobs. Atlas is rated to lift 50 kilos, or 110 pounds, and can function in harsh conditions including washdowns and extreme cold and hot temperatures. It also has a dual-hot swappable battery system, so it can change its own batteries as needed and never stop working. Similar to the Walker S2 by China's UB Tech Robotics, which closed 2025 announcing it had manufactured a thousand industrial humanoids. Boston Dynamics says it's training its humanoids to integrate into existing factory layouts for jobs like part sequencing, material handling, and eventually component assembly. We're building a tool that can drop into your facility as it exists today. and doesn't just do one job, but it's flexible enough to evolve as your business changes. During CES, the robotics firm played up its Titan partnership with Google, its one-time owner. They're applying Google DeepMind's robot foundation models to help Atlas understand tasks, use tools meant for people, and generalize skills across environments. And they also touted its relationship with NVIDIA for AI infrastructure, simulation libraries, and frameworks to accelerate innovation. During his keynote, NVIDIA founder Jensen Wong touted the GPU maker Jetson Computers and Groot foundational model tailored for humanoid development. Using the three computers, using the synthetic data generation and simulation, applies to every form of robotic systems. It could be a robot that is just an articulator, a manipulator. Maybe it's a mobile robot. Maybe it's a full humanoid robot. Andy said it plans to establish a dedicated robot manufacturing plant, but stopped short of providing target locations or timelines. Though it's aiming for capacity to build 30,000 units annually, it's unlikely that many robots will be shipped within the next few years. Boston Dynamics hasn't revealed pricing for Atlas, but its other famous robot, the Quadruped Spot, starts at 75 grand. A marketing video produced for CES hinted at larger ambitions for Atlas beyond industrial work, with computer-generated renderings showing the humanoid doing last-mile delivery and interacting with children. However, a segment that aired on 60 Minutes on the eve of the conference painted a more restrained picture of the robot's current state. Oh, that was fun. The broadcast showed the humanoid autonomously sorting roof racks inside Hyundai's new plant in Georgia, but engineers emphasized it remains far from a general purpose worker. When Atlas is available commercially, Hyundai says it'll be through a robotics as a service model with subscription pricing, over the air updates, and life cycle support. 
Hyundai is involved with South Korea's K Humanoid Alliance, which the government launched in 2025 to raise the country's profile in the race toward general purpose robotics. Another member, LG Electronics, brought its first humanoid robot to Sin City as part of its long-running push toward what it calls the Zero Labor Home. The home appliance giant says its wheeled humanoid cloid autonomously handles everyday chores while interacting with users in a human-centered manner. It has two articulated arms with seven degrees of freedom each and five-fingered hands for precision tasks requiring fine motor control. Hey, Brent. Welcome home. Hey, Cloyd. Nasty weather we're having out there. You mind taking this wet towel from me? Sure, I'll get the laundry started. Let me show everyone what I can do. LG says the robot runs on its proprietary artificial intelligence framework called Affectionate Intelligence. The system learns household routines, recognizes individual users, adapts to preferences, and prioritizes human comfort. According to LG, the humanoid integrates with its ThinQ smart home ecosystem so it can coordinate with connected appliances and services. I facilitate convenience and comfort by orchestrating devices and spaces to manage chores, like toasting your croissant just the way you like it. The robot almost certainly repurposes core technology from Bear Robotics, a California startup that LG took a 51% stake in back in January 2025. The Redwood City Robotics firm, launched in 2017, has developed autonomy software for navigation and obstacle avoidance. LG has not revealed pricing for its home robot. It's entering a crowding field with the likes of Sunday Robotics and One X, which plans to start shipping its $20,000 home humanoid in 2026. Italy's humanoid ambitions were also on display at CES. During AMD's keynote, the startup Generative Robotics unveiled its first humanoid prototype, the Gene One. The chipmaker positioned the humanoid as a reference platform to show how its technologies can run real-time perception, motion control, and human-robot interactions directly on hardware. Based in Genoa, Generative Bionics recently emerged from stealth after securing $77 million in seed funding. It was spun out of the Italian Institute of Technology in July 2024. The team is drawing heavily from the Institute's platforms, including its iCub Compact Humanoid. CES also featured an array of Chinese humanoids from firms like Agibot, which kicked off 2026 with viral performances and a new backpack-ready robot. For more on that, check the related video.